Saturday the 18th of February 2017 will go down in the history books of the Gambia forever. In celebrating 52 years of nationhood and inauguration celebration of President Adam Abaro, Gambians turn out in numbers to celebrate this symbolic day. Hundreds of thousands of people across the country came to witness this symbolic and historic moment. The day's significance was beyond just celebrating 52 years of independence from the British rule, neither was it just to celebrate President Barrow's inauguration. This day signifies a new era in Gambian politics, something that was unthinkable a few months ago. For the first time, Gambians witnessed a change of government through the ballot box in the most peaceful manner ever imagined. This was undoubtedly the biggest independent celebration Gambians ever witnessed. The atmosphere at the Independent Stadium was swallowed up by excitement and fanfare with the sense of true independence and freedom with high hopes for the future. Presidents from Burkina Faso, Ghana, Liberia, Mauritania and most importantly Senegal and a host of important dignitaries honored the invitation to grace the occasion with the people of the smiling coast of Africa. ECOWAS took its responsibility in making sure the will of the Gambian people is being respected and Senegal, as a neighboring country, led the bloc during the political impasse. This made the Senegalese president, Macky Sall, a very popular figure in the Gambia. In his address of speech, as the special guest of honor, President Sal praised the Gambian people for taking the bull by its hands and making the change they had wanted. He further went on to commend them for sowing great maturity during the most difficult moment in politics in recent years. The Gambia and Senegal have blood relations and said we are one nation divided by history. Gambia and Senegal have blood relations. The President of the Republic of the Gambia began his speech by thanking Allah for making him the President of the Tad Republic and the people of the Gambia, both home and abroad. But before going on with his speech, he was quick to honor the father of the land, Sir Dauda Kariba Jaura. <laughs> The former president of the government, Sanara Karamadara. Sanara Karamadara, the father of the land. May I begin by thanking Allah for making me the first president of this great country through the support of the Gambian people. I seek your guidance and blessing for me and my cabinet to have the strength and wisdom to serve our beloved nation to higher heights. The president was grateful to ECOWAS but was much more grateful to the Gambians in the diaspora. And expressing my sincere appreciation to the Gambians diaspora. They spend time and resources to support my candidacy through the social media. They encourage family members and friends to vote for me. This is a victory for democracy. It is a victory belonging to all Gambians. It 
zilizo na vinamia to change the government which are entering itself through the ballot box. He went on detailed telling the masses his plans for the nation in the years under his presidency. Amongst the very important sectors mentioned was agriculture, health, education, infrastructure, energy and above all, food security. The president also spoke of reforms, most notably civil service, constitution and legal reforms. Lack of employment led to thousands of Gambian youths risking their precious lives to overseas through the deadly back way as it is called and many were pleased that the new leader addressed the employment issue. The importance of the balanced relations enjoyed by Senegal and the Gambia was also emphasized too by the Gambian president. And to prove this, he chose to stay in Senegal when the options were laid before him to stay a country of his choice among the ECOWAS states during the trying times. The photo strengthened the ties and so gratitude, President Barrow's first official state visit will be to Senegal. All said and done, it is almost impossible to achieve the desired goals as a nation if the people of the country are not in one voice. And it was important to have heard the president conclude his speech by saying the country does not belong to any specific group, but every Gambian, regardless of your political affiliation or ethnicity. <laughs> Without a single doubt, majority of Gambians are very happy with the change and to have Adam Abaro as their new leader with high hopes that the future is bright. The people of the Gambia have spoken in their strongest possible voice. The ball is now in President Barrow's led government to either kick it or let it be. One thing though that is very much certain is the fact that power is in the hands of the people and gone are the days when a government will not be held accountable for its actions. Sankole Janko, special report on the independence for the Block TV. Thank <laughs> you.